Hi guys. Thanks for checking out my channel. Today I'm going to do a quick flip through of my Chic Sparrow, Mr. Darcy. He's a B6 in the color Buttered Rum. I've had him for about a month, month and a half, and been using him every day. I've been squishing him and rolling him. I have some roll marks and I do have some scratches on him, but I don't mind that. I actually like it when it gives it a little bit of character. I don't abuse him, but I don't, you know, overly protect him. I don't keep him in his bag. Doesn't go in my bag very often, but once in a while I'll I'll take him with me, but mostly stays home. Um uh, I think that's it. So let's get in and take a look. This is the deluxe version. So it does have pockets on the inside and a sec secretarial flap on the back. I did have more inside this big pocket, but I found that it was just not letting it kind of mold and shape because it had so much stuff here. So I removed everything out of this pocket. And I kept some business cards in this one and a little few die cuts in this one, a little paper clip. But I'm hoping that'll kind of let this kind of ease up a little bit more. You can tell this is a little bit more soft than this side because of my business cards. So I might even end up taking my business cards out just until it kind of gets soft. I have five inserts in here. This B6 has four strings. So I have used a jump band for two of them. I'll show you that in a little bit. But my first insert are actually three, four of my inserts have the Chic Sparrow dashboard and I really like them. They're well made, they're substantial, and they, to me, help keep my insert together. And I can separate them easier that way. And, and plus you can layer uh, card stocks and vellums in here to make it pretty and that's kind of what I've done here. Um, first off, I've got a Planner Society bow up here and then my paper is just the green paper and it's got red or it's got gold hearts on it and then I put a vellum with words written in gold on there to kind of layer it up a little bit and then the inside this is the back of that gold hearted paper and then I have some project life cards and some note cards in here that I could write on and leave or do something take notes or whatever and then my insert then starts this is a notes insert but I just took some cardstock probably from Michaels or I like actually I buy a lot of my cardstock from Tuesday mornings because they have some pretty packets of double-sided paper there and so this one I use the blank side as the front and I put some happy planner stickers on there I just think that looks so pretty. This is the inside. And then I sell digital files on my shop, so I just took the dot grid as part of the notes file, and I just printed a bunch of those and I'm in the B6 size, and I would put washi tape on some of them, most of them, and I have a piece of that word vellum in here just to kind of mark my place, but I haven't really used it yet because I haven't really had to take any notes anywhere, so I do have a key to I, something I use in my journal, but that's my notes, my dot grid notes, and this is the back of this front, so that's that, and so I have the dashboard, and then so this is the back of the dashboard, it's got the same green heart, the gold hearts on here with a Project Life card stuffed in there. So that's the first insert. The second insert, um, I have the two I use most kind of in the center so that they are they lay out a little better. But again, I have a Shakespeare dashboard with another 
uh, Planner Society bow on it. They, they, they so are so nice. And I also have a Planner Society pocket on here. See the little bows? I love these. And I actually just bought more of those. I can't wait for those to come in. But I put a Project Life card here just to kind of bring in some more of that green, mint green color. And then this little die cut here. It says love. Thought that looked cute. And then the inside I have another Project Life card, which I need to put something there. And then another Project Life card. This is the back side of that um, white words page. It's back side. Okay, so then this is my insert. And here, this one also from my shop is what I do my work in. So I have my month on two pages and I don't really use it as a scheduling. I use it as a kind of like a what happened. Not really memories, but just a quick glance, a bird's eye overview of this happened that day. And so I can come back and go through look quickly through my months and say oh I know I bought that when did I buy it and I can look or I know we went here when did we do it I can look and find it pretty quick like when was the last time I went to the beach for dinner and I can see so that's kind of what I use this page for I always use, also use it to track my um, bike miles and I keep track of them over here and then um, is my weeks. And here I do put things like if I'm going somewhere, I'll write it up here as a thing, um, an appointment. I, but then I use this also as what I did, not really what I need to do. That's usually on my to-do list, what I need to do. And then this is kind of what I did. Or like I got in my A6 allergy that day, so. So I kind of keep track of things like that. Um, I have on this side, it's kind of just an open area. If you have lots of to-dos and you fill this up, you can come over here. Or sometimes I use this for menu planning. Sometimes I use this for things I want to buy this week. Or calls I want to make. Just whatever is going on heavy that week, I might move it over to here. I also have a small habit tracker here and then to-do list and then a weekend to-do list there. <clears throat> I do use washi tape and stickers on every piece. Actually what I do is I'll sit down one night and so like this book ends in June and I will go through and do everything do all my washi tape and stickers. Not that I can't add more stickers later if it's something specific, but I kind of get my colors and together by what's going on. Like there's a week in here I'm going on vacation. And so I went through and I did my vacation setup right here. I did my vacation setup in there. So I mark where I'm at with a little removable post-it note flag and that works out really well. I can just go right to it. I mean you can I can use one for a whole year and it still sticks. And so that is my planning. I use that every day. And then this is the back of that dashboard with another project life card. So this is, this completes this insert right here. My third insert, I have stuck to the front of it a washi tape card that I laminated and just kind of put some washi tape on it just in case I'm somewhere and needed some washi tape. So that is stuck on the front of, front of that. But behind that is this is another Shakespeare dashboard and I've got some cool paper st stuck in the cover and then this is the back of that paper with a project life card stuck in here 
I have a whole bunch of these. That's why I have them everywhere. And then this little beauty is, I think I got it at Hobby Lobby, but I thought it was so cute. And then I have some double-sided paper. And this is my tracker insert. And so I use this for tracking different things in my life. And this also is from my shop, but it's got different different sizes of trackings. Like this is like a three column, which is great for, you know, I keep track of my books. I mark when I purchased them, when I started reading them, when I finished them. So I'll, I read on a Kindle. So I might purchase a whole bunch at one time and then just start marking them off as I read them. I don't get a whole lot of time to read, but. And here I track my online ordering and I'm so ashamed to say that from here to all this is March of this year and we're only on the 20th. So I was totaling that up and I'm like, oh, I've got to put a halt on that for this month because I kind of overdone it for this month. But I keep track of what I ordered. This is where I got it from or what it is, the date I ordered it, how much it was, and when I received it. And that helps me kind of keep things uh, so I know that when I got it and when I didn't. Um, here for my Etsy shop, I keep track of my sales. I, I Here I can compare last year to this year. And it's really helpful because I can, you know, if I think, oh gosh, you know, I'm not doing so well or... I can look at last year and I'm like, oh, but I'm doing so much better than last year. So that's a good thing. And then I have my show list. I really should rename that. But just shows I'm watching or, or have watched. I mark them there. <clears throat> and then this is a yearly to-do list for my shop or my business. It's like, just make sure I get these things done. You know, like, when does my website need to be renewed? When when do I have to pay for Microsoft 365? Just things like that. And then my Etsy shop, I am tracking a certain thing right now. And so I'm using this to kind of help me track that. But it comes out to 31 days. So I really like that one. This one here, the way it's lined, the way I have it set up, you know, would be a nice long list as well with lots of room to write. And then this one here. So it has a couple pullouts, but the rest are just two page ones. Um, here's my yearly jobs for home. And I'm sure as the year goes by, this will that list will increase. And that's all my tracking things that I have going on right now. I can I can see me really falling down the rabbit hole for tracking though. So I really anticipate that growing. But this is now the back of that dashboard. It's got some more of that pretty flowered paper and then some dot paper. And then so this insert is jump band to my tracking insert and it's not really an insert other than the I mean in the well, I guess it is it's a notebook insert which I just purchased I don't know it was probably either Marshalls or TJ Maxx or something like that and I use this for food tracking now I have a food tracker in my shop but this just to me was easier doing it this way and so I just draw a line, keep track of what I ate, and I'm, I count points for Weight Watchers. This was like a couple versions old Weight Watchers. And I saw this die cut I had for years and years, and I thought, oh, that kind of reminds me to kind of, hey, I'm watching my waistline. So I stick that in there to kind of help me remember that. And then my last insert, I have a another dashboard with some with a project life card some stick some post-it notes and then also some sticker washi tape here 
I have that in there. And then I stuck this in here because I found it as I was setting this up. And this is an, I've had these for years and years. And they're really for pictures. And, but I'm using it right now for like little cards or little flags that I can have here just in case I need them. And then my next, my last insert is my to-do list. It's not really a take daily to-do list, but more of like a, well, I'll show you. But I want to show you my puppy first. I don't have a puppy right now, so this is my puppy I have. I think he's so cute, though. But it's mainly just like, um, these are the YouTube videos I want to do. I want to do these digital stickers. Um, more pages I want to do, things I want to buy, but they're not like this week. Maybe it's just like future future purchases. So things like that I put in my to-do list. And that one's also on my shop. And then this is the other side of this guy. And so I just have some labels here. And Project Life Card, Project Life Card. I have so many of those Project Life Cards. And that's the other side of that Project Life card. Okay, so that's my inserts. Then in the back secretarial pocket, I have this zipper pocket. And this actually, as you can tell, was an insert for a personal rings binder. And I wasn't using it, so I stuck some post-it notes on here and put couple more in there and then I have my Tombow flags that I have in there. The other thing I have in here is just some note paper in case I want to jot something down that I really don't want to have in my binder. It's just going to come right out like maybe a grocery list or something like that I could put on there. And then this goes back in here. And then I have my favorite tool pin. And that is it. This is the back side of Mr. Darcy. It's coming along very nicely. And that's it. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Comment below. And I will leave a link to where you could get the inserts if you wanted them. But other than that, have a blessed day.